In this training video, we're going to look at the use of conditional formatting and then copying it to other parts of a spreadsheet, or in this case, examples of pivot table. And we can do this by using Format Painter. So this video is all about copying conditional formatting formats using the Format Painter. So if I look at cell C4, for example, and I can click on the cell itself, go to conditional formatting, go to the manage rules and I can see the formatting that's been applied. So if I look at this rule, so red formatting has been applied with an AND function for against cell B4 to say if it's greater than zero AND B4 is less than or equal to 1000 then format it red. So that's the conditional formatting that's been applied. It's it's still its own default white color because C4 is not greater than zero and that's the reason why it's still its default white color. But I can now copy this format in. So I can see there's bits of red. So I can pick on any one of these cells. I'm just happening to pick on C4 because it's the first cell. And I can double click the format painter. So this is a very big pivot table. So just to give you an example, if I scroll through I can see there's lots of data for different age groups and if I go again there's lots and lots of data that needs to be updated with the formats so there's lots of it okay so the format painter can do this quickly so I've highlighted cell C4 I'm going to double click the format painter and now I'm going to start every area I'm now going to format so I'm just going to get in position Okay, here we go. So, highlighting the whole area down to the totals, and it all goes red where the condition is greater than zero and less than a thousand. So, it's just looking for figures which are greater than zero, less than equal to a thousand, and straight away it's formatting them quickly. So, we can see the 890s are formatted, 980s, 650s, so it's doing its job quite quickly. So I'm just going to do one or two more of these. It doesn't take long to get through this whole pivot table, so even though it's quite big, bit by bit, there's another one done. So you can see I'm just doing section by section. The former paint is still on. This is the beauty with the, with the double click. You can just keep on using it over and over. One click on the format painter would only allow me to make one change, whereas the double click, you're able to keep on using it as I'm using it now. I can see what it's doing. There you go. So nice and quick, and you can see the, the 1102 hasn't been changed because it's above a thousand. You can see this is a very, very big pivot table. So trying to do this without this method would be quite difficult. And there we go. Make sure there's no more to be done. Come to the end. I can just turn off the Format Painter and all the formats now have been applied to the different areas of this pivot table according to the conditional formatting rule. So this is now completed the training video on the use of conditional formatting and applying it using the Format Painter to different parts of a spreadsheet or in this example a pivot table. If you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.